Okay, so we've got our number one piston installed. We checked everything, everything looks good. Uh, we've just, again, just snugged down the bolts. We haven't done our final torque yet. Now I'll point out, if you remember when we did the actual rod clearance check on, our, on the rod bearings, uh, we did number all of the pistons, so we're going to put those back in in the same order. If you see, we've got two, three, four, five, and six. The caps are all matched. Because when we checked our clearances, we want to make sure we put them back in in that same order. So now we go on to number two, and we work our way down. Um, let me spin this back over, and I'll show you. On a Chevy block, it is a different firing order than on a Ford block. On a Chevy, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is your firing order on a Chevy engine. On a Ford, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So make sure you follow the firing order for the kind of engine that you're building as you're putting the pistons in. It just makes your job easier and it makes everything go together properly. So keep that in mind. So now we've put in number one, we're coming over to number two, and we'll just go down the line. We'll get all these installed, show you the finished product, torque it down, and move on to the next product. Okay, so now we've got all the pistons installed. It's time to torque down all of our rod bolts. This is a 70 pound torque on these. We're gonna do it as we've done with everything else in three steps. We'll go 30, 50, 70. Now with the rod bolts, we don't have to do it from the center out since they're all separated. We can just do one rod at a time. So we're just gonna pick the ones that are up, get them all torqued down, then go to the ones that we can't get to, turn the engine until we can get to access to those and do those. So we've got our torque set up at 30. And we're going to go up to 50. Going up to 70. This will be our final torque on the rod bolts. Now we'll put our torque wrench down, turn the engine slowly again. This is not an old system. We've got it lubricated, but we don't want to have to turn it any more than we have to. There we go. Now we can get to the back end. We'll do the same thing. Be right back. Okay, so we've completed the final assembly on our bottom end. As always, go to PartsPro.com to find your local Parts Pro store who can help you with a project like this or any of the products you've seen here. There's an expert waiting to help you with it. We'll see you in the next episode.